Hello guys, it's Marian Jones here, back again with another video, and in today's video, it is another banger. We are going to be talking about Erling Braut Haaland, the Norwegian prolific striker who plays for Manchester City, as you would already know, and joined um, joined Pep's team in the summer from for fifty around fifty million uh, euros from Borussia Dortmund. Now this guy is an absolute freak, and basically we're going to be running down how good he is and is he probably is he premier league's best or all-time premier league goal scorer as he's already got so much goals and he's a really really good player and yeah i'll just be running through that so without further ado let's get straight into it so erling Haaland, you know him as a beast of a striker who obviously got recognition when he played for um Salzburg when he was at there at that time and um, he, he he's an unreal striker he got a, I think he got a hat-trick against Genk was it in the Champions League and then Borussia Dortmund came coming in Manchester United actually wanted him we Man United were looking for him we wanted to sign him he was a fantastic young brilliant baller who we know as very very strongly as a very good runner of the ball and um, yeah obviously I really wanted him to come to the right side of Manchester Manchester United and yeah I was disappointed when we didn't get the signing I thought we would get it because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was in charge at the time and they got a good relationship when they were both at Molde uh, the Norwegian team and um, I think he's definitely he he definitely is a fantastic, fantastic young player, and he played very very well for Salzburg. He played six matches and got eight goals for Salzburg in the Champions League for the in the 2019-20 season, and in the Austrian Bundesliga he got fourteen matches, sixteen goals in the 2019-20 season, which is unreal for a striker of his age. Um, I think. I th he's definitely one of the best strikers in the world. I think he's like the next Ronaldo. Him and Mbappe are becoming absolute beasts. And then obviously he surely definitely got a call up for um, for Norway, and he got uh, six matches, five goals in the World Cup qualifiers. Unfortunately, he is not going to be playing in the World Cup. Sadly, I would have loved to see him play. And um, yeah, you would have seen a few days ago, like he was out on the streets walking with his like what was it, River River Island or something, whatever he's wearing. And um, one of the fans said, "Oh, come to the right side of Manchester." I would have loved to see him come to Old Trafford. Yeah, I think he would have played very very well under Ole. Unfortunately, he got sacked. And um, yeah, he's a fantastic young player, and I definitely do think that he will do very very well this season. Obviously, he got a fantastic start. And um, yeah, he joined Borussia Dortmund um, for probably a, for quite a lot, uh, around twenty million. I I think I do not remember, but he got in his first season he got twenty eight matches, twenty seven goals, which is unreal. And a one that honestly that could not be imagined. I honestly did not think that. And in the next season, the season last year, he got twenty four matches, twenty two goals, getting seven assists for striker is actually not that bad. And then obviously, he, he they wanted to leave him and Lewandowski, probably the best two strikers in Bundesliga last season and the season before. They wanted to leave the club. Both did. They uh, Lewandowski went to Barca. He went to Man City. And uh, for Man City, he's already got two matches, three goals in the Champions League, which is unreal. No one could think of that. And he's already got six matches, ten goals in the Premier League, which is again unthinkable as. I, personally, I think he's one of the best strikers in the world uh, right now at this point, at this moment in time. And his goal against Borussia Dortmund was an absolute beauty. And what, by the way, what a ball by Jao Cancelo! And he just he just did it. He just scored with a celebration. He usually does that um, little big kick. And um, yeah, honestly, I I really liked him at Dortmund. I think he suited well. He made a lot of good mates. Uh, Marco Royce. Jude Bellingham, Jaden Sancho, obviously, they both went to the Manchester clubs, one of them going to the Red Devils, and one of them going to the Blue Ships. Um, again, yeah, I think Haaland's one of the, right now, one of the best strikers in the world, as I just said, and yeah, he's, he's a non-real, he's a freak, people call him a robot, 
and um, he's unthinkable. He's he's not a human. He is not human, and I think he can he can definitely. I I think Pep said in his post match interview against Prussia Dorman that he said that he is probably one of the best strikers he he's worked with. Obviously, he's worked with uh, Lewandowski and. Um, Erling Haaland, and uh, he said he's a very prolific player, player, and he has a very, very, he has a good, good movement. He's already got two hat tricks this season, one against Nottingham Forest and one against Crystal Palace, at, both at the Etihad. And I think he's probably one of the fan favourites right now. He's bagging goals left, right, and centre. He can bag goals from anywhere. His movement is insane, and when he plays Manchester United, I am afraid for my life. I do not want him. He honestly, Martinez, you're gonna have his. He's gonna he's gonna have his work paid out. He's gonna get. If he, if we get if we keep a clean sheet against Manchester City, I am honestly going to be so ha- so so happy. And um, pro- it's probably not gonna happen though, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, he's um, Erling Haaland. I think he's up there with one of the best Premier League strikers in history. He's definitely up there. Obviously. Terry on Real Chira obviously got more goals. He's just joined Man City. Of course, he's not gonna get like two hundred and forty-one goals in like two matches, was he? Um, but yeah, I think Erling Haaland. Comment down below if you think Erling Haaland is one of the best strikers in Premier League history and in the world because he is an absolute freak. But yeah, I was just rounding it up and uh, telling you what my thoughts were about Erling Haaland, the beast from the Middle East. That's what I call him, a beast from the Middle East, even though I don't even know if he's from the Middle East or not. But I do hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Please go subscribe to my new Aaron Jones Clips channel. Link in the description down below. I'll see you next time. Peace, guys. Have a great weekend.